Jurassic World The Ride. I hear it's a calm and uneventful cruise through the park. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Here we are, Park Ranger AJ, Universal Studios, Hollywood. I'm so excited! You should be. We're going to meet some new dinosaurs and some talented dino trainers, and we're going to go on Jurassic World, the ride. And Jurassic World, the gift shop? Sure, why not? We've earned it. What could possibly go wrong? So let's go! Okay, Park Ranger AJ, if we're going to see dinosaurs in this park, this is probably the place to do it. Yeah. Let's see. We were right! Ladies you wanna go meet some friends? Come on. Come on, Julia. Hold on, come to me. Let's go meet some friends. You ready? Hey, that reminds me, we gotta eat something. Juliet says hello. Here, come on over here, guys. Hey, pal? Juliet, hold. I'm Eddie. This is Juliet. Eddie, I'm Park Ranger Andy. Andy. And this is Park Ranger AJ. Park nice Ranger Andy, you. Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. You guys want to say hello to Juliet? We our would love to. Yeah. Awesome. So the way we say hello to a Triceratops, we bend at the waist and we say, hello, Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Oh, Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger AJ. She's so happy to meet you guys. That's so cool. I'm happy to meet you too. Well, how old do you think she is? One year. One year old. That's that's a great guess. What about you, Park Ranger Andy? 65 million years. 65 million years. You're absolutely right. That's when Triceratops used to exist. But Juliet is only two years old. A little baby. She weighs just about 2,000 pounds, about 20 feet in length. She'll grow to be about two to three times this size. But because she's so young, she's incredibly interactive. That's how she communicates with us. 2,000 pounds just eating plants. So one of the first things we do to communicate, we do a toe tap. So we take our toe and we tap it out in front of us. Can I see you guys do that? And then she mimics our move to show us that she's communicating. Her favorite is called happy feet. That's where we stomp our feet, just like we're marching in place. So you keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. Happy feet! Oh, she's watching. She's excited. Right, Juliet? <laughs> oh, look at her doing happy feet. Oh, she says thank you for playing. Look at how she's doing it back. Oh, awesome job, guys. Say thank you, Juliet. Thank, thank you, you, Juliet. So, you're fantastic. Do you also train T-Rexes? T-Rexes? No, those are, those are a little bigger and scarier for me. Why? Reason. We're just wondering. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I would try to train a T-Rex. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are from T-Rex Ranch. What do you guys do there? It's an animal sanctuary. With all kinds of uh, special animals. Do you guys like a Triceratops hug? Uh, yeah. So all you have to do is come right up to her tail and give her a little pet and she'll give you a tail hug. She's already excited. Oh yeah, you got her. <laughs> so you guys should say, bye, Juliet. Bye, bye Juliet. <sighs> oh, she loves you guys. Come hang out anytime. We're gonna go enjoy the park. Have fun. Yeah. Let's go, Juliet, come on. Eyes on me, girl. See you guys later. Eyes on me, Juliet. Eyes on me, come on. Come on. It's a wide turn, that's Triceratops. We gotta watch out for the Tricera bottom. <laughs> I've got a joke for you. Oh, hit me. What do you call a dinosaur that never gives up? I don't know. What do you call a dinosaur that never gives up? A try, 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 ceratops. I don't get it. Well, let's go try to find some more dinosaurs. That I get. Let's go. Encounter. I bet we're gonna see a giant raptor in there! Yeah! Oh, I 
the picture. Hey guys. Hello. Now this is not what we expected. We expected a giant raptor, but this is a little baby? Yeah, this is Tango. We, we do have a bigger raptor, but she's kind of in a bad mood right now. Her name is Blue. We're gonna keep her in the paddock for the, the time being. We understand. <laughs> can Good. we pet Tango? Uh, can you pet Tango? Uh, yes, you can, but you can always pet from the chair. She's only six months old. She's a little baby. <laughs> Are they easy to train? Uh, the Velociraptors are one of the easier ones to train just because they're smarter, yeah. You're a smart little girl, aren't ya? Oh. Are you camera shy? No, I'm gonna smile! Hey, you're, uh, you look good on camera, huh? All right, three, two, one, cheese! Yeah, we should take her out. We have a little ranch that she might enjoy running around someday. Oh, really? Yeah. You have a ranch yourself, huh? Yeah, it's just a plain ranch with, you know, no dinosaurs on it or anything weird like that. You just sure? Just a nice big open space, yeah. It's called yeah. T-Rex Ranch? T-Rex Ranch. I mean, that's what I see on your hat, at least. Yeah. So does she ever ride the rides? <laughs> Our dinosaurs don't ride the rides, but they are part of the ride. If you want to learn more about the dinosaurs and get through our park in a really cool river fashion, uh, the ride's right over there. Oh, yeah. What do you think, AJ? Should we do it? Yeah. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Say thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Jurassic World The Ride. I hear it's a calm and uneventful cruise through the park, which is exactly what you and me need on our day off. A little peace and quiet. Huh, uneventful. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go relax. Relax. Nice, peaceful calm. This is just what we need, a nice little peaceful cruise. In the age of the dinosaurs, a vast ocean is home to an explosion of life. I didn't know it was going to be talking! Let's never go on our boat ride again! That was so much fun! Yeah, I wasn't afraid at all! Attention park people! Do not be alarmed, there is a raptor loose. Blue the raptor has gotten out of her paddock. A raptor loose? Maybe we should help. We know about raptors. We can save the day. We can save the day. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, Park Ranger AJ. In order to find this raptor, we need to think like a dinosaur. We got to use our senses. That's right. Which senses? Sight. Sight. That's right. We got to keep our eyes peeled because raptors like to hide in the shadow. Smell. Oh, that's right. Because raptors are attracted to strong smell. Sound. Oh, sound. Because the clickety clack of raptor's claws are unmistakable. And so is the sound of someone who's just seen a raptor. Yeah. Let's go. Just missed her. Where are we? New York. How can you be so sure? Smell that? Best pizza in the world. Sounds like we gotta go that way. Can I at least get a slice first? I feel like we're not in New York anymore. Hey, I think you're right. Look, we got bistros and cafes, which means we're in Paris. That's right, Paris. Ha 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 ha. Which means croissants. <laughs> Car focus, okay? Focus. We gotta find that raptor. Right, right, right. Focus, focus, raptor. Hey, that reminds me. How would you invite a dinosaur to a cafe? I don't know. How? T Rex? <laughs> Get it? T Rex? That scream came from nearby. Oh, there Let's it is go. over there. Hey, uh, wait a minute, Park Ranger AJ. This ride seems kind of slow and boring. It's not a ride, it's an escalator. 
Park Ranger Andy, Park Ranger AJ, we've located Blue. She's down by the Jurassic Cafe. Come join us. We need your help. They found him. Let's go. Easy. Eyes on me, girl. Hold. No, Park Ranger, thank goodness you're here. We need to help. Help me contain her. You speak to her very calmly. Say good, easy, Blue. Easy, Blue. Take it easy, Blue! More calm, more calm. Say eyes on me. Eyes on me? Come around this way. You never want to flank her. She might get it. Easy. Easy, girl. Easy. Hold. Eyes on me. Take it easy. All right. I need you guys' help. So one of the ways we try to calm her down we're gonna make sure that she's using all of her senses to ascertain that you are not a threat. You can hold out your hand very gently and slowly. Do you give her a chance to smell you? I'm not a threat! But yes, a seraph can smell about eight to ten times better than us. So this is gonna be a great way for her to ascertain that you're not a threat. Do not move. Hey, 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 hey. Raise your hands higher in the air. Open and close your fist. See if this works. And then say, speak, Blue, really loud. Speak, Blue! Good job, good, Blue. You guys should be trainers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Before we go get some food, can we take a selfie? Well, Park Ranger AJ, chasing down that cranky raptor sure was fun, but I am ready to get back to T-Rex Ranch where things are just, you know, a little bit calmer. You said it. Who's that? that? I don't know, but I think we should get out of here. Let's go. A park ranger at T-Rex Ranch is no joke. We have big dinosaurs and small dinosaurs. We have meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. No, oh, we have dinosaurs that like to play games and dinosaurs that don't like to play games. I call them dinosaur losers. <laughs> but I'm here to teach you everything you need to know, Park Ranger Rosie. I'm so excited. Do you think I'll meet a T-Rex today? Oh, you might. And my job is to teach you everything you need to know in case that very scary situation should arise. Now, step one of Park Ranger orientation is to read the Park Ranger handbook. Got it. So let's see what this handbook has to say. It says, don't read this handbook. Listen to Park Ranger Andy. Well, if that's what the book says, that's what the book says. Now, instead of reading some boring old book, we're going to do something fun. Gadgets. Whoa! Do you know what all these gadgets do? Well, of course. They don't just let any old park ranger teach park ranger orientation. What's this one do? Well, that one is, uh... I mean, it's, uh... I have no idea. Let's try it. Whoa! It's a portal blaster. Where do you think the portal goes? Uh, good question. Area. What a convenient way to travel! I think this blaster will take us anywhere on the ramp. It's hard to tell exactly where. Hi, Mike. 
This portal will take us to Fossil Forest. Well, let's find out. <gasps> fossil Forest! You did it, Park Ranger Rosie. But now we really should get back to home base. I still have a lot to teach you, and my favorite part of orientation is still coming up. What's that? Lunch! Okay, setting a course for the picnic tables. Uh, Park Ranger Rosie, this isn't the picnic area. I know what happened. I set it to the right coordinates. Maybe it's broken. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Park Ranger Andy. We'll get back in time for lunch. We better, or we're gonna be somebody's lunch! What do we do? We gotta find a place to hide! Why is she chasing us? I don't know. Maybe it's because I forgot her birthday? Uh, I'm sorry. Like, I remembered four days later, but then it was kind of awkward to say something, you know? Let's hide behind that tree! Ah! out here all day. I'm a pretty good teacher, aren't I? No, don't answer that! Ah! Use your portal blast and send us back to home base! But what if it doesn't work? Uh, anywhere is better than here! Good point! Uh, oh. Park Rosie! Oh no! I saw Park Ranger Rosie was right behind me! I lost Park Ranger Rosie on her first day! This is definitely not right. My fine park ranger Rosie! Oh, I know! Arexa! Yoo-hoo! Arexa! Show me Park Ranger Rosie's location! What's this? Park Ranger Rosie? It's not connected to the T-Rex Ranch Network. We're connected to a Rex size step four of the Park Ranger orientation. <gasps> Beginning to think I shouldn't have skipped the boring parts. That's weird. Why isn't the portal blaster blasting portals? Where all these portals coming from? <gasps> Park Ranger Rosie must be sitting up from the other side. I'm coming for you, Rosie! <sighs> Not in there. Okay. can't believe that worked. Well, I knew that book would come in handy sooner or later. Focus, what do you gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta find Park Ranger Rosie. Inverted portal switch. So when you find yourself in an upside down, inverted or backward situation. I think that's me. 
Switch. Here goes nothing. Yes. Yes, I'm back. Now all I have to do is portal back to home base and meet up with Park Ranger Andy. Come on, Portal Blaster. What did I ever do to you? Ah! How am I gonna get back without the Portal Blaster? Think, Rosie, think! I got it! If I can identify what type of dinosaur is making all that noise, then I can figure out where I am on the map and get back to home base. I just hope I'm not a dinosaur that likes to eat kids. Three horns, strony fro, and loves to munch on leaves. Definitely a triceratops, which means I must be in Herbivore Valley, and home base must be that way. Ranger, I turned out to be not worthy to wear the vest or this neckerchief. In fact, I'm not worthy to wear this Park Ranger outfit at all. Sure you are, Park Ranger Andy. No. Park Ranger Rosie, where did you? How? I did I, I, I looked everywhere for you. I had a little help from the Park Ranger handbook. And while I was waiting for you, I added some new pages on the Portal Blaster. Tricky little gadget. Huh, well I'll be. I guess that the boring parts of training aren't just as important as the fun parts. You know, I'm gonna do things the official way next time. Well, in that case, can we start my orientation over? Say no more. Welcome to your first day as a T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. Now, step one of your orientation is to read the handbook. Speaking of, where did I leave my handbook? Nine minutes later. Good news! Got our park ranger uniforms back, all dry cleaned and pressed. How's that busted dino trap coming along? All fixed. Fantastic. That's two chores down. Yoo-hoo, Rexa. Yes, park ranger Orson. What's left on our daily task list? There are currently 173 items remaining. You're kidding me. <laughs> hey, Park Rangers. You seem stressed. Or hungry. I can't quite tell. Definitely stressed. Too much to do, and not enough time to do it. Do you want help? That'd be great, actually. We could really use an extra hand. Oh, I only have the two. That's okay, Sam. We got it. Orson? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Not enough starch on the uniforms. I agree. No. Maybe there's another way we can get help from Sam. Or should I call her the secret autonomous machine? We could switch her into robo girl mode. I don't know. She's been in real girl mode ever since she got here. But what's the use in having a robot around if she can't do robot stuff? How else are we going to complete our monthly task list on time? It is the last day of the month, and I do not want to find out what happens if we don't finish on time. Just leave it to me. I got this. Hey, Sam. Can you grab me a pair? They're in the bobbin drawer. Sure. Happy to help. Hmm, I don't see anything. Oh, wait. No, that's a potato. Thank you for activating RoboGirl Sam. My power cell is currently at 99% battery life. Also, there are no pairs in this fridge, nor have there ever been. Oh, uh, no worries. Hey, we thought about it, and we'd love your help finishing our chores. Of course. What can I do? We have a task list, but in general, uh, fix whatever needs fixing. I understand that. Thank you. There seems to be a loose thread in your scarf. I can fix that. 
May I? This says a seismic disturbance started in a clearing just ahead. What do you think caused it? Big dino footsteps? Maybe, but it looks like something fell from the sky and landed right... Here! Whoa, what is that? Well, let's go find out. like an allosaurus. Big one, too. And it went right through the rainbow. I wonder what that means. Did you hear that? It's not usually a good sign, but I don't see anything, so... You also saw a bright green allosaurus, right? Yeah. Let's go follow it. Sure. Why not? Hey, Sam, we're back from the... Hey, park rangers. Hey, Sam. What's happening here? Oh, well, I was about to fix Orson's scarf, but when I sat down on the couch to sew it, I noticed a loose spring. So I moved the couch, which exposed a loose floorboard. Okay, but is any of this on our task list? I don't know. You tell me. Reshingle the roof. Change the oil on the T-Rex 1. Organize all the rocks in T-Rex Ranch by size, weight, and color. Sam, are you sure about all this? Oh, yes. After all, I have been asked to fix whatever needs fixing. She can't keep this up forever, right? Of course not. After 5,000 years of activity, my battery level will decrease to 50% of its current level. Oh. We've made a huge mistake. If the other dinos can't see that Allosaurus coming, he could wipe out the whole park. Good thing I brought the rainbow, right? It can change the color of anything it zapped. Nice. Did you invent that? No, I found it in the Dino Master gadget closet. Where'd you pull it out from? <laughs> I don't suppose it does anything more helpful? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let me try a different setting. <laughs> I think they were embarrassed, but very patriotic. Does that roof seem leaky to you? I'm gonna go check it out. We need to do something. She's never gonna stop. Okay, let's think carefully. Do we have any sort of instructional manual for Sam? Actually, we kind of do. Let me get this straight, Park Rangers. First, you steal my robot, and now you want my help fixing her? That is rich! We're not asking for your help, Dino Master. Just a little advice. Oh, let me think about that for a sec. No! How about that, huh? How about no? I knew this was a waste of time. The truth is, Park Rangers. Is, the only way to get Sam to break away from her infinite task loop is to give her an impassable task, which will cause her to reboot. But, when you know it, there's nothing she can't do, because the person who created her is a genius! Me, in case you forgot. Wait, that's it. There's nothing she can't do. Hold on! Don't start getting ideas from my cruel mockery! No, wait! Don't tell me off! Don't tell me off! I'm not done mockery! Wait, don't tell me off! All right, I know what to do. Let's get Sam back here. Hey, Sam! Would you come down for a minute? I think you missed a speck of dust on the floor. Oh, no. Be right there. Oh, look! It's an Allosaurus nest. But where's the Allosaurus? Looks like he's everywhere. <gasps> I've got an idea. How is 
this helping exactly? Look over there! <laughs> okay, I've got a new plan. Run for it! <laughs> Wait, zap me! What? Why? Just zap me! <laughs> They're confused! Now's your chance! Happy to help! Happy to help you too! Finally, everything is back to normal. <clears throat> One sec. Where is the patch of dust? Oh, we'll take care of it. But we do have one more urgent job for you, and it needs to be done before anything else in your list. Okay, what is it? We need you to do nothing. Nothing. That's right. Absolutely nothing. But that's impossible. Even when I'm doing nothing, I'm still doing something. I'm I'm breathing, I'm standing, I'm talking. It's 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 impossible. System malfunction. Convincing reboot. I think it worked. Sam, you in there? <sighs> I just had the weirdest dream. Why are you staring at me? No reason, nothing to worry about. Wow, it's so clean in here. You could thank Sam for that. Thanks, Sam, it looks great. Why are you purple? You can thank Asher for that. The rainbow ray ran out of batteries. It happens. There you are. 37 minutes earlier. I don't think he's gonna like those extra exclamation points. But it's not every day you get to celebrate someone's birthday. What if you know 365 people with different birthdays? Good point. And it means you'll never have to buy cake again. Speaking of cakes. It's supposed to be a Dimetrodon, which is Rosen's favorite dinosaur. But I don't think the guy at the grocery store knew what that was. He's gonna love it, Park Ranger. Almost as much as his Park Ranger birthday badge. Last but not least, what will probably be his favorite birthday gift of all time? He may look like he's crying, but I think he's secretly happy. Between you and me, I think he really loves those baby dinos, even if he doesn't know how to show it. <laughs> wow! What a cute little baby you are. And you too! Aw, aren't you just the sweetest little sugar dinos in the whole wide branch? Aw, aren't you just the cutest little sugar baby? <laughs> That's all right. Bath day. It's whenever I want it to be. I just finished inventory on all our tech... Who are you talking to? Uh, I don't know.
Park Ranger Asher. I need you to watch those two babies while I check on that egg. Sure thing, Park Ranger Orson. Baby's coming. Percy's infernal soapy hands. Uh, let me hold that for you. This is Park Ranger Orson to all Park Rangers. Come in. Yes, Park Ranger Orson? Where'd the babies go? I don't know. I got distracted by the egg. Uh, just wanted to make sure that we keep this line clear. So, good job. Park Ranger Orson out. That was a little weird. Right? For Orson, not really. They couldn't have gone far. Agreed. We're in a very modest cabin, and there's only so many places two baby dinos can hide. Like behind the incubator. On it! Orson, you're the proud, educated leader of a secret yet reputable dinosaur sanctuary. Got this. I think we're almost ready. We did a good job. <laughs> Pteranodon, one of my favorites. They're like prehistoric pelicans. Negative, Park Ranger. Copy that. That was a little weird, right? Mm, not for Park Ranger, Maisie. <gasps> I have an idea. How about we make a trail of dino treats and then lead them into the pen? Good idea, Park Ranger. Now what? This was your idea. Oh yeah, now we wait. I think that's a Patinosaurus. That name means winged lizard. With a small butt, they look like little dragons. Said it. Oh, now this is more like it. Yeah. No more sleeping. 
stole the baby dino to welcome into our world. All right, I forgot. ETA 30 seconds, Park Rangers, and we got some big news. Uh-oh. We're almost here. Well, the good news is I got the hat back with the birthday boy badge. Didn't we have a banner? <laughs> what banner? a little raptor situation. Say no more. Until she put in the effort. Ooh. Delicious. Oh my god. And guess who gets their birthday badge? Do I get a park ranger achievement badge? <laughs> and one more from all of us. Aw, look at the little babies. <clears throat> this is perfect. Thanks, team. Oh, very impressive. Uh, thanks. For your effort, I give you the Tyrannodon Tamer Badge. How are you always so prepared? Plus, I got one more surprise. Meet our new baby Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus? Parasaurus snuffleupagus? Uh, it's Parasaurolophus. We've got really interesting heads with a bone that goes all the way back. Also, they're herbivores, which means they're plant eaters. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Hey, Orson? I thought you gave the babies a bath today. It's, it's a, a long, long story. story. It's not working! 57 minutes earlier. What's going on? It's the Dino Master. Looks like he's having some problems at home. Ah, you're in big trouble, mister! There's nothing to see here. Pay no attention to what you see. Whoa, a baby dinosaur? Is that the one you plan to kidnap, Uncle Dan? Yeah, what? I have no idea what he's talking about. No idea. Who's your new friend, Uncle Dan? Yeah, this is my nephew, Finn. What's good, people? His mom said, we'll be back by noon, but now they're hours late and I have an engagement. He's got a pottery class. You mean pottery class? No, pottery. He's learning how to make better evil plots. <laughs> Are you serious right now? What am I supposed to do with you? Hey, do you need help babysitting? What? I have sitting experience. Yeah, with the dogs and reptiles. And you're kind of a softie. Babysitting? I am 10 years old, ma'am. Doesn't matter. You're high. Just don't tell his mom. You can be a more ill temper than I am. Hold on, so I don't get to say this? How about I give you a dino fudgesicle? I don't take bribes. Two dino fudgesicles. You drive a hard bargain, kid. Fine. I'll send them right over. Well, that was entertaining. He knows to meet us here, right? I think so. I still can't believe you offered to babysit the bad guy's nephew. Hey, hang on. 
We know the Dino Master's evil. Doesn't mean his nephew is. Fair point. Looks like he changed his mind anyway. Let's head back to Dino HQ. Wait, how did he get here? Finn, we found him trying to steal our baby Triceratops. I'm sure this is all a big misunderstanding. Right, Finn? Definitely. But since he's so interested in dinosaurs, maybe Bella, our serious paleontologist, could show him a few more outside. Can't. I'm studying Protinosaurus social behavior. And Asher volunteered to be my assistant. I did? Atta boy, Park Ranger. You're one step closer to that homework helper badge. I am? Yes. In fact, we must urgently make our way to the Botanosaurus Dome. But that's so far. I can drive you in the T-Rex 1. Let's go now. I found some sort of gadget. It looks like something my uncle might have made. That is not a toy, Finn. It's the imaginary blaster. The imaginary what? It, it does whatever you think it does. I don't know what it does. Shoots feathers or something? <laughs> yes, that's what you think it does. Oops. OK, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you got to clean up this whole place. Oh, come on, really? Yeah. Trash can's in the corner. I'll get the broom. And as soon as you're done, take the garbage bags outside and put them in the secure dumpster so that dinos don't get to them. Please, and thank you! Who's the softy now? Perfect spot. You set the food out, right, Park Ranger Asher? Um, no. You wait the dino kibble. Maybe. Yes. I'm gonna finish this on my own. Okay. <laughs> Delightful. You can park those bags of smelly feathers right over yonder. Hey, I didn't make them smelly. I just made the feathers. And I'm still not quite sure how. Well, it's your responsibility. So you throw them in the dumpster, and I'll meet you down the trail. Ugh, fine. Nah, forget this. It's so hard to study up close. Huh. Maybe they're shy, but also nervous. <laughs> Not like me, of course. Then, what are you doing here? Uh, I was told to see if you needed any help as a park ranger tryout, maybe? Really? I'll talk to Orson about that, but... No, thank you. I think you've helped plenty. Okay. Do you really want to know more about dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, uh... What's that? That's a pteranodon. Actually, a lot of pteranodons. Let's go see where they're going. And done! Wow! You're telling me they have these puzzles in all different sizes and shapes? Yeah, but they're not really puzzles. <laughs> Where's Bella? We have to find her. Let's go! I can't remember where we parked the T-Rex one. Oh, uh, what do we do now? Run! Control 
it. And I fixed it. Are you sure? Yo, fam, this is next level. Do you mind taking a picture with me and the uh, Allosaurus? Yeah, Allosaurus! He's gonna on pause in about 10 seconds, so. Pictures later. That's cool. <laughs> What is that sound? If I had to guess, I'd say a dozen pteranodons of a dinosaurus is having a garbage party. <gasps> Where's Finn? the trash into the dumpsters like I asked? Maybe not inside, but close. Close for trying? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Alexa, call the Dino Master. Calling the Dino Master. Talk fast, I'm on a five minute break from firing time. You have to take Finn back. He's misbehaving. Good, at least he's doing something right. <laughs> but I'm not. I don't want to be like you, Uncle Dan. I want to learn about dinosaurs, event gadgets, and go on adventures. Learn to tie garbage bags? Maybe. Who knows? Hmm. Interesting twist. Well, we'll talk more about this sudden interest in being good on the way home. You know what? Maybe we could watch him just a little while longer. Wonderful. See you later. So, what do we do now? First thing, you're gonna clean up all this garbage. For that, Finn, you could earn the Garbage Gatherer Park Ranger Achievement Badge. But I'm not a park ranger. True, but our friend Sam here was a robot under the Dino Master's control just a couple months ago. So, I guess what I'm saying is, anything's possible. Ah! Oh, did my eyes do the red glowy thing again? Sorry. <laughs> See you next time! What's your favorite dinosaur to feed? Well, I like the Stegosaurus because it's so gentle and it eats the veggies right out of your hand. Yeah. Well, how about your least favorite dinosaur to feed? Oh, I've got to say the raptors. They look at you with those claws like your dinner. Yeah, and I feel like if they ate you, they would burp after. Rude and scary. Mm. That's why I brought us here to the Ojai Raptors. Oh, ah, Raptors! It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn about raptors today, and we're gonna learn maybe how to take care of them for when we go back to T Rex Ranch. Okay. All right? Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, Park Ranger Andy. Hi. This is Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. I'm Jacqueline from the Ojai Raptor Center. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're a wildlife rehabilitation facility specialize in wildlife, but raptors specifically. And we take in about a thousand injured, sick, and orphaned raptors a year. And as wildlife rehabilitators, our main goal is to make them well again and release them back to the wild where they belong. Back into the wild? All those raptors? Out in the wild? Uh, um, yeah, birds of prey. Oh, oh right, right. Birds. birds! Of course you're of talking course. about birds, yeah. right? Yeah. We know you're not talking about dinosaurs. Yeah, That'd be ridiculous no if you're talking about dinosaurs. You can't yeah. release them out in the wild. They'd have to be in like a ranch or something. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't exist though, right? Right.
So yeah, we consider owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures here. We consider all of those birds to be raptors. So actually we're getting into our busy season here in all of wildlife rehabilitation where we receive lots of babies that have been separated from their parents. Usually their nests have been destroyed and they need to be raised by people in captivity. But we have to make sure that they maintain their natural fear of humans in order for them to be successful once we release them back to the wild. So we have to make sure they don't become too comfortable with humans or see humans as their friends or anything. So we cover our features, we disguise ourselves, and we feed them actually with a fake owl so they never get too used to humans. Do you guys want to help me feed the orphans? Yeah, yeah! I love playing dress up. Okay, here are your suits. So you're gonna put these on because again, these are not pets, these are wild animals, and we have to make sure that the baby owls don't get used to seeing people. So we're gonna put these on to disguise our features, and then we're gonna go feed the baby owls little pieces of food because they're too young to eat by themselves. Okay. This will be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay, Ranger AJ, you look like you're all set. You got your G-Lay suit on. Yes. Ready to go inside the hospital and feed? Yeah. Okay, we have to make sure that we're very, very quiet when we go inside the hospital, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'll be right behind you. And I'll be really quiet. So some of our birds are unfortunately not releasable to the wild and we train them to become ambassadors for their species. So would you like to meet some of our non-releasable ambassador raptors? I would love to. I'd love to see yeah. something. I can't see anything. Hi, AJ. Hi, Andy. Hi. I'm Kimberly here with our ambassador brewing, Elle Topper. Hi, Topper. Hi, Topper. Baby? No, actually, he's full grown. He's about seven years old. As with dinosaurs, raptors come in all shapes and sizes. And as a matter of fact, about half of the owls in North America are small owls, like topper or even smaller. His eyes just pierce right through your soul. I know, his eyes are pretty amazing, right? All raptor eyes are pretty amazing. Amazing. I've never seen that color yellow on an eye before. And actually, some of the things in his eyes are related to why we have Topper. What do you mean? So, well, with all of our ambassadors, they can't survive in the wild. That's why they live with us as ambassadors. And Topper came to us after having a head injury, and he has some damage to his eyes as well. That's why he can't survive in the wild. So he's a owl? Yes, he is. What's that mean? Well, although we think of most birds and most owls living mostly in the sky or up high in trees, these guys spend most of their life on the ground and they actually nest underground. Although these guys are a predator like other raptors, the small raptors are both predator and prey. So basically anything big enough to hunt him, including other raptors, will hunt them. They're also endangered by dogs, feral cats, raccoons, and snakes. So they actually have a super cool way to help protect themselves from predators. When they're feeling threatened or when the babies are in the burrow and feel threatened, they actually make a sound like a rattlesnake and that wards off most predators. And for the babies, it makes their parents come back home to protect them. So if there's a fight between the owl and a rattlesnake, who's gonna win? Well, that's a tough call. A burrowing owl couldn't actually fight off a rattlesnake the way that a red-tailed hawk or a great horned owl could catch one, but they might be able to ward it off with their snake sounds and otherwise just um, do something that's called mobbing when they fly at a potential predator to just scare it off. Are they friendly with other owls of their same kind? That's a great question. I think good. So because many of their hosts live in colonies, burrowing owls tend to also be colonial. So they can nest just with one pair, but in the past they've actually had populations of thousands of burrowing owls in one place because we had such huge colonies of prairie dogs. 
Is it true owls can spin their heads all the way around? Well, they can't quite spin their heads 360 degrees all the way around. However, owls and other raptors can look completely over their shoulder. So Topper can turn his head um, from looking straight at you all the way to looking over his shoulder. It's about 140 degrees. Well, Topper's getting a little tired, so I need to take him home. But Jacqueline is ready to introduce you to another of our super cool ambassador raptors. I think you're gonna love it. Well, I'll be glad to see it. So what's the owl thing? Who? The owl. Who? I'm asking about the owl. Who? <sighs> the owl says who? Says what? Who? What? Who? I don't get it. Good job. This is Rosie, and she is our non-releasable red-tailed hawk ambassador. Why did you guys name her Rosie? That's a good question. So we named Rosie Rosie because her beautiful red tail, that red-tailed hawks, which is her species, what they're known for. A little side note for you, red-tailed hawks don't actually get their red tail until they're about two years old or just before, once they become mature. So if you see a juvenile red-tailed hawk, they'll have a brown and tan striped tail. You know, I named my bathtub Rosie. Why'd you name your bathtub Rosie? Well, every time I don't clean it, I get a ring around the Rosie. We've had Rosie for 17 years. She came to us when she was only one years old, so she was a juvenile with a broken wing in her right wing, actually, in her shoulder. She can't fly well enough to be released to the wild, so that's why we have her. I think there's some confusion about velociraptors and raptors. Raptors are birds of prey. So it's a group of different birds that are predators and they're hunters and they have sharp hooked beaks and claw-like talons that allow them to hunt and eat other animals. So here at the Raptor Center, we consider hawks, falcons, eagles, owls, and vultures all to be raptors. So they lay eggs like dinosaurs. Yes, exactly. They lay eggs just like dinosaurs. Velociraptors are dinosaurs that were really small and fast that lived between 70 and 90 million years ago. And when paleontologists discovered their fossils for the first time in about the 1920s, they named them velociraptors, which that word actually translates to fast birds of prey, because anatomically or structurally, they're really similar to modern birds of prey, specifically that sharp hooked talon that velociraptors had in their hind foot. But velociraptors were always dinosaurs and raptors were always birds of prey. All birds have actually evolved from dinosaurs. So during the Cretaceous period, this is when most dinosaurs went extinct, there was a very small number of avian dinosaurs, basically bird-like dinosaurs of the theropod group of dinosaurs. So actually T-Rex was in this group, but only the small theropods survived into the almost 11,000 species of birds that we have on our planet today. Did they evolve from meat-eating dinosaurs? Yes, they did. Velociraptors were meat-eating predators like modern day birds of prey. So he only eats meat. These birds only eat meat. They cannot process anything else. So they are only able to digest raw meat. No veggies, bird after my own heart. Right, no veggies. They must be similar to dinosaurs in other ways then. Some dinosaurs supposedly had feathers. Yes, velociraptors and theropods definitely had feathers. And they're starting to think that perhaps all dinosaurs had feathers as a matter of fact, although none of them actually use them to fly. Like chickens. Exactly. Well, chickens can fly a little bit. Yeah, chickens can fly if they need to. Penguins. Like penguins, exactly. Yes, to keep them warm, but not really for the function of flight. So they have hollow bones like the Allosaurus. That's a very good question, yes. So really all flighted birds have hollow bones. So larger birds that don't fly and even smaller birds like penguins, birds that don't fly have fused bones that are filled with marrow and blood just like ours. But all birds that fly have hollow or pneumatic bones and their dinosaur ancestors did as well. So thanks so much for coming today. I hope you guys learned something new. We, we learned, learned so, much. so much. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Was that a rattlesnake? Or a burrowing owl? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Well, if we are, we're using your legs. My legs? It's not fair. Goodbye, thanks a lot. <laughs>
Okay, let's see here. Flashlight. Check. Whoopee cushion. Check. Donuts. Check. Of course. Dino remote control. Andy, did you bring the dino remote control? Yeah, I'm sure I brought it. No, I think you should go back to the RV and check. Fine. We may need it. Making Andy mad. Check. Need some sort of donut drink anyway. Donut drink, sure. But don't forget the dino remote control. Donut drink. Get my dino drink and AJ's dino remote control. What are you coming here for? Dino remote control. All right. Dino remote control. Dino remote. Let's see. <laughs> That's not it, but we can use it. Ooh. Extra, just in case. Dino remote. Dino remote. Dino remote. Where would I be? Dino remote. That is not you. Donut drink. Dino dinner. <laughs> More like Andy's lunch. <coughs> That's delicious. <coughs> mm. Back to work. Dino remote. I got the dino remote. <laughs> Look what I found! Your dino remote that we're probably not gonna use. Let's go. Uh, you look a little green there, Park Ranger. Are you feeling okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure about that donut drink. Donut drink? Park Ranger Andy, that was Dino DNA! Dino DNA what? Dino DNA! One sip will turn you into a dinosaur! How much did you drink? Uh, the whole beaker? The whole thing? Why would you even drink anything from a beaker? I was parched from all those donuts! I was afraid of that. The dino reversal serum is our only hope. If you don't drink the serum in the next five minutes, you'll stay a dino forever. Huh, well, we better go. Stay right here. I'm going to be right back with the serum. <laughs> The serum! Okay, the serum, the serum. If I was serum, where would I be? I don't know.
Andy. I know it's you. You're an emergency donut. I know you love them. Go get them, Andy Asaurus. Oh, that was the last time the dinosaur DNA reversal serum. Think, think, what would Park Ranger Andy do? Well, if he wasn't a dinosaur. He would use this. I've got an idea. What wouldn't he use? The dino remote control. Now, where was it? <laughs> Look what I found. Your dino remote that we're probably not going to use. Let's go. That's it. If I can make it back to the T-Rex 1, I can grab the remote control and use it to rewind Andyosaurus back to before he drank the dinosaur DNA. There he is. Hope he doesn't see me. Mystery drinks. Okay, okay, give it to me. Wow. Oh, it's a good thing we caught it before it turned into a dinosaur. Yeah, definitely a good thing. You know, Park Ranger, we learned a valuable lesson today. Always be prepared. And let this be another Park Ranger lesson. Never drink mysterious liquids out of mysterious containers. You said it. Lesson learned. You know, we never tested that serum before. I'm glad it worked. Oh yeah, it worked perfectly. <laughs> Looks like our Brachiosaurus wants to get in on the fun too. minutes earlier. T-Rex Ranch. The sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, so, so much sun. It's the perfect day to earn an achievement badge. Wouldn't you agree, Park Ranger Bella? Yeah, you're right, Park Ranger Macy, and I'm ready for my challenge. Good, because today is your chance to earn T-Rex Ranch's ooeyest, gooeyest badge. The Smorgas Badge. Park Rangers? Hi, Park Ranger Orson. Isn't it your day off? You bet. That's why I spent the whole morning cataloging the contents of our herbivore dino droppings. Ew! How is that fun? It's not fun exactly, but knowledge is its own reward. 
You know what is fun? Me and Park Ranger Wyatt made a really fun game. See? May we present to you Spinny Golf, the world's first off balance sport. Is that a salad bowl? Is that my salad bowl? Um, maybe, but when you flip it over, it's a golf tee. When you put this big ball on top, you have a giant golf ball. Interesting. And why is it called spinny golf? Because before you hit the ball, you have to spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then you grab the racket, take aim, and whack the ball toward that bucket. Oh. Huh. So whoever hits the ball in the bucket wins. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone has made it in the bucket yet. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun trying. Wanna give it a shot? How about you show us how it's done first, Park Ranger? One, two, three, four, five. Faster, 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 faster! impressed by your commitment, but you didn't get the ball in the bucket. That's not the point, Park Ranger Orson. What's the point? To have fun. Thanks, Dimetrodon! He's an awesome caddy. Hmm. Hey, check it out! Now this is a roasting stick. What kind of badge is this again? It's the achievement of a delicious campfire tradition. Graham crackers, chocolate and marshmallow in glorious harmony. S'mores? The badge of s'mores. Sounds delicious, right? Yeah, but Park Ranger Orson's badges are more for like, logic or bravery or, not marshmallows. Trust me. You never know when a smorgas badge will come in handy. The best part about spinny golf is you can play anywhere. Okay, here goes nothing. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Hey! Yeah! Well, that was objectively amusing, but you still didn't get the ball in the bucket. Here, you want to give it a try? You know what? Sure. I can have a little fun now and then. Let loose, throw caution to the wind. Huh? What does that mean? And now I spin? Yup. But first, let me put the ball back. All right. One, two, three. Three's enough. Three. I'm good. Three centimeters by three centimeters. Pretty sweet skills, Park Ranger. One step closer to a smorgas badge. Thanks, but I feel like this is a skill more for junior park rangers, not for serious park rangers who can handle real danger. Those with a smorgas badge laugh in the face of danger. You know what, you're right. I'm here to learn, not critique. That's more like it. Loud and clear, Park Ranger. How can I help? Um, we could use some creative solutions over in Herbivore Valley. 
We're on our way. Well, that happened. Oh, now I see your problem. Not really a problem, because I had fun getting it there. Okay, what's gotten into him? Isn't it your day off? It is. Uh, he spent the morning looking into dino poop. Yeah, that makes sense. So, what happened? We were playing spinning golf, and then Park Ranger Orison hit the ball into the mouth of the Brachiosaurus. And now we need it back, because we're having a roaring good time, and if fun isn't my middle name, then I don't know what is. I thought your middle name was Edmonton. Go ahead and drop the ball, buddy. Time for the Rangers to play. I wish there was something else the Brachiosaurus could chew on. Maybe there is. Park Ranger Maisie, we need ooey gooey tasty marshmallows. Stat. Oh no, they're all melted. Even better. If we attach these twigs together to make one a giant twig and then attach the giant marshmallow to the top, the dino won't be able to resist. She'll drop the ball immediately. I love this plan. Let's make it happen. Okay, we are ready to go. We did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Do we have any extra marshmallows? No! no. Ah, shish kebab! Okay, a little bit to the left. Okay, now up. I think it's working. I think she's taking the bait. She's got it! There it goes. Orson, catch the ball. Got it! But who cares? It's not about winning. It's about having fun, taking a chance, and seeing where the ball ends up. All I know is I feel alive! And wet. Very wet. Well, Park Ranger Orson, you're not the only winner here today. Park Ranger Bella, I present to you the tastiest badge of them all, the Smorgas Badge, to recognize your mastery in all things chocolate, marshmallow, graham crackers, and twigs. I'm honored. And a little surprise, mostly because I did not think this was real. The s'more you know. <laughs> Does that mean you've got chocolate in your bag? Chocolates are for closers, Park Ranger. Are you sure you're ready to earn your smorgas badge today? Uh, no. I'm gonna keep playing spinny golf. Come on, Asher. <laughs> More for me. Every time she hits the wall, she gets back up again. That is resilience. Almost done and got it. What you got, Park Ranger? My latest gadget, Dino Remote Control. It can pause, play, rewind, and fast forward any dinosaur just by pointing it at them. Wanna see? Are you sure it's safe? Sure. If you say so. Come here, little lady. I can't believe it! It worked! I thought you said... Never mind. And now, for the real test. Let me try to rewind you. I've been thinking. Orson, maybe it's time we tell Park Ranger Sam the truth. The truth about what? Santa Claus? <laughs> What's the truth about Santa Claus? That he's a really good gift giver. Come on, that's not a big secret. No, I've been thinking we should tell Sam once and for all that she's an invention of the Dino Master. I mean, if I were a robot, I'd want to know. You'd tell me if I was, right? Yes. I'm a robot? No, 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 of course you're not a robot. And you know me. I am physically incapable of telling a lie. 
Maybe I'm a robot. Wait, are you sure this is a good idea? Well, if my calculations are correct, pressing this button will remind our baby Dino to go back to where she started. Have a second? Sure, what's up? We have some news for you that might sound a little strange. Is it about Santa Claus? Because I already know. What about Santa Claus? That he can't possibly deliver all those presents in one night. He can't? <clears throat> uh, which is why he has 36 hours on account of the multiple time zones across the globe. Everybody knows this. Right! Right! Everybody knows this. Anyway. Sam, there's something very unique about you that Park Ranger Orson and I thought you should know. Okay. You know the Dino Master, right? Sworn enemy of the T-Rex Ranch Park Rangers. Of course. Yeah, he invented you. That's ridiculous. How do you invent a person? Well, that's just it. You're actually a robot with three settings, real girl, robo girl, and the Dino Master Sunshine. I don't recommend the third setting. We rescued you from the Dino Master's control, rebooted you, and changed your settings to real girl so you wouldn't remember that you were a robot. But if you want, we can change you back to robo girl so that you'd have your robot powers as well. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a minute. Imagine that. <laughs> okay, so if I'm a robot, then I have to have some sort of control panel, right? Exactly. <laughs> what about a pteranodon? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah, but I want to test out something bigger, like a triceratops or stegosaurus. That big enough for ya? Um, technically, but I think a gigantosaurus is a little bigger. Arthur! Kidding! Kidding! Reset me and change my settings to Robo Girl? Correct. Okay, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is the most ridiculous thing ever. I mean, you can't just. That was weird. As I was saying. I hope this hologram finds you well. You are Sam, the secret autonomous machine. If this Sam shall reach you in error, please return her to the evil Dino Laboratory. Parrot me, the Dino Master. I'll let her off. <laughs> Did I just project that hologram from my eyeballs? Pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm not sure. I need a minute or two to myself. <sighs> Robot Blues, I've seen it happen. It's okay, she needs this time. Well, like my mom always said, 
Be kind and rewind. <laughs> Do you think I'm weird? Of course not. I think robots are awesome, and girls are... Well, let's just say it all evens out. Thanks, Asher. That makes me feel better. I would hug you, but... We don't need to hug. Hey, where's Maisie? Oh, well, hopefully she's still on pause between the jaws of a hungry T-Rex. What? I'll tell you the whole story on the way there. Let's go! Hmm. I see your problem. Luckily, you have a full-fledged robot park ranger ready to help. What do we do? As soon as I give you the signal, press play and stand back. Hit it! story. Actually, I can tell you the whole thing in 8.7 seconds. So I'm a robot, but it's cool. <laughs> Is there something you're not telling me about Santa Claus? You can't lie, remember? All right, Park Ranger, here's the truth. Santa isn't Really a native of the North Pole. I knew it. Is he from the Midwest? I just get that vibe, don't you? Yeah. It's been a while. We should take the babies and head back to HQ. Good call. Hey! The gang's all here. Maisie, doing all right? You're looking a bit pale. Oh, it's because a T-Rex almost ate me and I was frozen between his jaws for what felt like a very long time. So yes, it's been a day. Thanks for asking. Not the day at the ranch. Ah, good point. What's that, Asher? The new gadget? Yeah, but it's broken. I need to install a flash drive to do a diagnostic. How about a thumb drive? Sure. My pinky's also a corkscrew if that helps anybody. Santa isn't really a native of the North Pole. <laughs> the nervous guy. Hey, Gumdrop, put Park Ranger Orson down for a lump of coal this year. That's right, Park Ranger Orson from T-Rex Ranch. Fly in that Omnivore. And now that you're under my control, I need you to bring me the baby Brachiosaurus to my super secret transporter in T Rex Ranch. Understood? Yes, Dino Master. <laughs> Forty-two minutes earlier. I cannot believe we have a device that can actually translate dinosaurs. It's an amazing scientific breakthrough. Yeah, pretty cool. Sorry you can't come on our first translation trip. That's okay. Maybe you should bring some of the gadgets. Like the ElectroFence gadget, just in case Arexo's translations don't work very well. Thank you. And you're sure you're okay to stay and babysit the baby dinos until Macy gets back from her dog walking? Yeah, I'll be fine. Maybe I'll even take a nap. That'll be Park Ranger Orson and Park Ranger Wyatt in the T-Rex one. 
don't get into too much trouble, okay? Who, me? walking business is a lot more exercise than I ever thought. My legs feel like jelly. What's jiggling on your end, Park Ranger Asher? Nothing jiggling in here. Just a totally normal day. Uh-huh. This works. Yoo-hoo, Arexa. Hello, Park Ranger Bella. How can I help you? Translate dinosaur sounds. Translating. I think she's saying, I am acrobat. That can't be right. So, what do you think we should do today, Park Ranger Asher? Set the T-Rexes free. Sure, and what about the raptors? Let them loose in libraries. Maybe. Go for Park Ranger Maisie. Maisie, this is Park Ranger Orson. Park Ranger Wyatt Bella and I have unfortunately encountered a... I think you get the picture. Mind heading over this way and driving our Park Rangers and the T-Rex One to complete their mission? I gotta hang back and diagnose some tummy troubles. Sometimes this job really stinks. <coughs> Copy that, Park Ranger. Stay strong, and I'll be there in two shakes of a Triceratops tail. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself while I go get the other Park Rangers? Yes, Mommy. You mean Park Ranger Mommy. I mean Maisie. Yes, Maisie. Mm, I'm not convinced you're okay, but... Just stay here, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. Remember, 10 minutes. Translating. I love macaroni and cheese. Sorry, not accurate. But what if he does love mac and cheese? I do. No time for small talk! Get in! I got a rogue dragonosaurus on my tail! You don't have to ask me twice. Come on, Park Ranger! Gotta go! You who erect that, translate to the I think she's saying shrimps and grits. There's mac and cheese, not shrimp and grits. You gotta go hungry. This thing's toast. Punch it. A loose gigantosaurus to keep them all distracted. <laughs> Ready for the transportal. The baby brachiosaurus is in my bag. Splendid. Now, just grab the dino eye and proceed to the coordinates we discussed. Your wish is my command. But, but I'm not a genie! Well, close enough. You know how 
how some days just feel kind of off? This is one of those days. Tell me about it. I ran into Asher at Dino HQ and he was being really weird. Was he walking stiffly with a glazed look in his eyes? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh man, something's up. Let's go find out what's happening. What are you up to, Park Ranger Asher? Yeah, good question. Yeah, I know. Transporter! Just a little something I whipped up the transport matter through time and space. Hmm. Now all you have to do is release the baby Brachosaurus and nudge him towards my transporter. He's under some kind of spell. <gasps> Into the transportal. Asher, no! <gasps> Got what's coming to ya. Where am I? Why am I inside the electro fence? Does the Dino Master put you under some sort of trance? But you'll be okay soon. Just don't listen to them, Park Ranger. Sorry, the electro fence also dehypnotizes anyone inside. So Asher is no longer under your control. Well, of course I know that. I invented the thing. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, everyone. Don't mention it. Although you did call me Park Ranger Mommy when you were under the Dino Master spell, so let's never mention that again, okay? Okay, fair enough. Aw. Park Assist, you who erects up, translate Dino Sounds. Translating. My car is a library for hot air balloons. What's that supposed to mean? It means that Erex's Dino Translator doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, last one in the dino park. Let's get this old dino cam finished off. All right, there we go. That's good, that should work right there. I don't be able to monitor the dinosaurs from anywhere. Ah! Oh! There's... Oh. Tiny, what are you doing there, man? You nearly scared me out of this tree. I almost fell off this ladder here, Tiny. That would have been bad. Okay, wow. You really gotten tall, Tiny. Come away up here. You're getting pretty big. <laughs> I think we may need a bigger park for dinosaurs like you, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Were you gonna eat this tree, Tiny? You can't eat this tree, man. It's the middle of January. There's no leaves on this tree here, okay, Tiny? You gotta go over here and get the dino food that Park Ranger will be left for you yesterday, okay? Man, I wonder where Park Ranger Aaron went. Where did he go? Is that him over there? Oh, look at Park Ranger will be. Here he is now. I'm gonna go talk to him about this dino cam. Whoa, Park Ranger, what's with the ladder? Oh, hey, Park Ranger OB. Yeah, I was up the ladder because I was putting in the last of the dino cam cameras, huh? Oh, yeah! <laughs> so the system's all ready to go now. We'll be able to monitor the dinosaurs from any place in the park. It'll be really awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so where is it? Oh, yeah, the monitor, the little portable monitor. It's back in Dino HQ. You wanna go check it out? Yeah, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting late. We what? Gotta open, but... what? 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 <gasps> Look, it looks like claw marks, like <gasps> baby dinosaur claw marks. Ooh, what do you think it's from? What did it, huh? Hmm. <gasps> Fresh T-Rex claw marks. Hey, it can't be T-Rex because T-Bone's way out there in his paddock, so it can't be from T-Bone. It's got to be from something else, huh? Not a T-Rex. Maybe it's so. from the mommy T-Rex. The mysterious mommy T-Rex. Yeah. That we've never seen before. <gasps> got a tracker. You're right, we got a tracker. Okay, I'll turn the tracker, tracker. I know. We'll use one of the tracking sleepy darts. Oh, yeah! Come on, let's go inside and get one. And we'll go track down Mommy T-Rex. Right. Okay. okay, let's gear up, man. Get ready to go track that T-Rex. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. 
You ready? Yeah! Let's go find Mommy T-Rex. Born ready. Let's get in the Dinonator. Okay. Go find this Mommy T-Rex. Yeah, yeah, get your jacket there. Wait, 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 wait. Got my jacket. Wait, what? Wait. It could be more dangerous than T-Bone. Oh, yeah, I guess it could be a really dangerous T-Rex. Uh, okay, well, we need to be able to hide from it while we're out uh, there in the Dinonator. That's gonna be kind of hard. Camouflage! Oh, yeah, camouflage. That's a good Camo. idea. Throw! Oh. Uh, uh, I almost got there. There we go. All right. Hey, that's pretty cool, man. That'll hide the Dinonator perfectly. Yeah, but we need to get all camouflaged up, too. Oh, yeah, I'm looking a little green here. Do you have any more camouflage? Yeah. Oh, hey, that blue towel's not going to work. Huh? Oh, yeah, it's not okay, blue outside. Go. Cover yourself okay. up there, okay? Why don't you use some of these clothespins? There, yeah, I need one, too. There we go. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go find Mommy T-Rex. Let's go. Here, take your sleeping dart blaster. Oh, Don't yeah. forget that. Don't forget your seatbelt. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Okay. Okay. Now okay. I'm looking. If you see anything now. Mm, no. Okay, which way do you think we should go? Um, that way. That way? Yeah. Okay, we'll go that way then. Keep an eye out for her. Okay. She's out there somewhere. Wait! What, 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 what? What is it, what is it? Nah, it must have just been an armadillo or something. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, peel them. Peel your eyes, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, we're coming up to a dead end in the trail. The trail doesn't go any farther. I can't take the Dinonator, okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to get out Go on foot, okay? Let's go, dude. This way. Let's go. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, oh. I heard something. Oh. Sounded like a roar, didn't it? Yeah. Oh. Hey. What's look at this that? tree, man. It's like something's been eating it, huh? Yeah. Hey. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, what is that? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at the size of that tooth. Yeah. That's definitely a T-Rex tooth, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's from the mommy T-Rex. Yeah, it has to be. So I think the mommy T-Rex must have gone this way. Okay. Or she could have gone that way. No, 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 she has to go that way. No, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's divide up. You go that way, I'll go this way, and we'll see who finds her first, okay? okay. Just keep a close eye on your, on your back there. Don't let anything sneak up on you. Come here, mommy T-Rex. Where are you, mommy? I better have my sleepy dart blaster ready to go here. Ooh, bet she went this way. Big steps. Okay. Ooh, this is a pretty good clearing here. Ooh, yes, I'm hot on her trail. <laughs> you thought you could turn old baby T-Rex loose on us, huh? <laughs> Not the park rangers. Uh -uh. Ooh, wait a minute. I think this is the place. I think she's right over there. Okay. Mommy T-Rex, you ready for this? Okay, I got my sleepy dart tracker ready for you. T-Rex, where are you? T-Rex. Hmm, T-Rex. Whoa, T-Rex. T-Rex. You ready, Mommy T-Rex? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh man, she's not here. Ooh, T-Rex ate this one down to a nub. Oh man, I know she's close. Yeah. Man, I better start looking for clues. Clues, clues, clues. Man, camouflage isn't helping any. Take that off. Clues here? No. Any clues? T-Rex! Okay. Let's see. <gasps> What's that? Park Ranger OB, I think he found Mommy T-Rex. It sounds like a big T-Rex roar. Come in, Park Ranger OB. Park Ranger OB, you there? Oh, that's another roar. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. The dino cam monitor. And... <gasps> I think he did find her. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. I gotta go get him. 
He must be that way. I'll come get this later. I'm coming, Borg Ranger OB. Hang on. I'll be right there. OB, where are you? Oh, he's that way. Okay, I'm coming, dude. Okay, Borg Ranger OB. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Okay. I'm sure this is where he was because there's the camera right there. All I see is this rock here. Hey, this rock has two shoes on it. Hey, must be why all Park Ranger Joe B's toys are always walking off. Everything around here's got a foot on it. Okay, I wonder where he is. Oh! Oh! oh. Ah, T Rex! Park Ranger Joe B! The T Rex is gone, man! Why are you running off, man? The T Rex! T -Rex. Is... Park Ranger Joe B, T Rex is gone. Okay, guess I'll have to go find the mommy on my own then. Okay, sure. Mommy T-Rex is this way. Hope Park Ranger will be made it back to Dino HQ, all right. Come on, T-Rex. You're out here somewhere, I know it. <gasps> Ooh, what was that? It sounded like a roar. Now I'm up at the road. Come here, T-Rex. <laughs> oh, man. I don't see his mommy T-Rex anywhere. I think we lost her. <sighs> Never will find her now. Hey, wait a minute. What was that? <gasps> this is a mommy T-Rex! I gotta get out of here! <sighs> oh, oh, here! The blaster! Oh, I got her! Ooh, this orc, I hide behind T-Rex rock. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> so long, T-Rex. Mommy, I got you tagged now. We can track you right here on the Dino Tracker app. Ooh, let's see if it works here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> and she's moving away on the tracker. Awesome, it worked. All right, Mommy T-Rex, we're gonna know when you're coming now. Got to go back and find Park Ranger OB at Dino HQ. Okay, see ya. <laughs> You're getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word Dino. Run! Three hours earlier. I proudly present to you the newest addition to T-Rex Ranch. Please. The latest in fresh storage technology. Cool. Is it a robot? What? No, it's a mini fridge. That's all? Just a mini fridge? For Grangers, this is a very exciting development. We can use it to store specimens in the field, baby dino treats, and most importantly, lunch. It's like the inside of a trash can, but cold. Ah, oh, horse feathers. Somebody drank my juice box and ate my sardine sandwich. Who would do that? Nobody I know. Really? Nobody you know? Hey, don't look at me. I bring my own lunch. What about you, Greenhorn? I'm sorry, I have no idea. <sighs> No, I apologize. The temper's a bit short today because I slept poorly. And I lost my hat, which is odd because I usually wear it to sleep. That is odd. Right? Then somebody steals my lunch, and to top it all off, I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why. Hmm. Do you own a cat? Does anybody ever really own a cat? Hey, what's going on? Well, you're just in time for some pretty big news. Go ahead, Sam. Oh, okay. Park Ranger Orson bought a new fridge that looks like a robot, but it's not. Also, someone stole his lunch. <laughs> See for yourself. I'd ask that you avoid touching anything. This is a crime scene now. Ew, what is that smell? Sardines. Sardines. <laughs> 
just don't know who else with access to the mini fridge and an insatiable appetite would do such a thing. Was it one of you? I don't think they like sardines either. Then it looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned mystery. The case of the I solved the mystery! It's obviously the Ware Dino. Uh, what's a Ware Dino? I'm glad you asked! The Ware Dino is a legendary beast inside T-Rex Ranch. Every month, in the last three days of a full moon, the Ware Dino's curse changes a man into a werewolf! And then the werewolf changes into a raptor! Roar! Mm-hmm. We've been through this before, Asher. There's no such thing as a wear dino. Are you sure? Every time something mysterious happens, Asher blames it on a wear dino. Yeah, when our recycling bins got knocked over, Asher said it was the wear dino. It was raccoons. Wear raccoons! No. Well, whomever it was, they're not gonna get away with it twice. I'm gonna install surveillance cameras inside and outside Dino HQ and catch the thief in the act. After a very quick nap. <sighs> Great! In the meantime, Sam and I will catch the wear dino ourselves, right? Oh, okay, sure. There's no such thing as a wear dino. I don't wanna take anything off the table. Hello, Monster fans! This is Park Ranger Asher. And Park Ranger Sam. And we're in the Raptor Paddock, looking for the word dino. Sam and I put two word dino traps. Tell them, Sam. Trap A is a personal electro fence that activates whenever the wear dino steps over it. And trap B is a net inside Dino HQ. If he escapes trap A, trap B will catch him for sure. Right now, we're looking for clues. Whoa, I think I found something. Property of Park Ranger Orson? Why would Orson's hat be out here? I slept poorly, and I lost my hat. I've got these scratch marks up and down my arms, and I don't know why! No way! Park Ranger Orson is the word I know! He is? It all makes sense. We found his hat in the woods, he has scratches on his arms, probably from running around the bushes, and he's tired from being out all night! Getting all this, Sam? Yes, I am. Looks like we finally found the legendary word I know. Run! <laughs> you okay, Sam? I am. But phony baloney may never be the same. Asher, what if we lure the wear dino to trap A using Orson's hat? Great idea, Sam! To trap A! To trap A! What now? Now we hide and wait. Any second now. This is so exciting. But wait, what if Orson really is the wear dino? The electro fence won't hurt him, will it? Nah, probably not. Uh oh, what's he doing now? Where do you think he's going? To get a snack from his new fridge. <gasps> this is Park Ranger Asher to all available park rangers. A loose raptor, I mean, wear dino is headed towards Dino HQ. And he may be armed with terrible sardine breath. Looks like he's here already. Oh boy. We did it. We caught the wear dino. Not sure. Does the wear dino wear pajamas? I'm not the wear dino. That's just the kind of thing a wear dino would say. Asher! We just corralled the rogue raptor you called in and put her back in the raptor paddock. It's a good thing we hadn't left yet. Wait, 
If you just caught a raptor headed to Dino HQ, then that means... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That means Park Ranger Orson isn't the Were Dino. Like I said... Then why are you in the Were Dino trap? I think I can explain. This is the surveillance video from last night. Th that's me. I'm, I'm sleepwalking. We see. Ouch! Ah. I had a dream last night that a raptor attacked me. Time to fend him off. Luckily, we found your hat. Hey! <laughs> oh, so I was stealing my own lunch. I guess I owe everyone an apology. I guess we proved that there's no such thing as a wear dino. Have we? Yes. yes! And that nobody likes starting sandwiches with Parker and Jorison.